firstly, I kind of want to know, what's your thinking when you come up the ramp and you see 15 cars all kind of in a car park? Yeah. Well, luckily I was warned. <laughs> Um, I knew there was a, it was going to be, well, for the red flag and a road, road blockage. We've had it a few times in Formula E, so it's not unusual, but I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, and yeah, obviously, yeah, it was a bit of a mess. And then uh, just, yeah, but fortunately it wasn't too bad or didn't take too long to, to recover. I'm assuming you guys were like pushing for a rolling start uh, for the first red flag, where, uh, after the first red flag, because obviously if, you, if you're doing another standing start, you, it just increases the risk for you instead of just going off again. Um, I, was, I was fine either way. Um, I actually was, I wouldn't have minded a, a standing start just because I think it would have created more chaos for like Jake or something like that. I think in the lead, I would have got the lead pretty easily, um, but then he had to deal with a lot more than, than me. So either way it you know is what it is but uh i was fine with either but i think i you know he had more to lose than me and i think he would have been in a more of a tricky position so um so i think he would have benefited from that safety car reset you know rolling start than than, than me but um is what it is i think doing a standing start that late in the race is pretty pretty crazy but um i probably would have needed it just for something to maybe happen yeah, with, with uh, uh, earlier on in the race because the envisions uh, played very well in terms of like Nick taking attack mode and everything. Um, did 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 you just see your chance and just take it when when obviously Nick was trying to defend for for Seb to go off? Was it just like I'm just going to dive here and and have a go? Um, a bit. Um, I wasn't really sure. I mean, I knew what Seb was trying to do, but then wasn't sure when Nick let him pass uh, what was going on. Um, so I, I, I was in an aggressive mindset, well, an attacking mindset, because I just had to get track position and I was making good, good ground. So, uh, yeah, I, I knew if, um, you know, I say behind Nick, I would have given Seba a free attack almost, or uh, he would have um, yeah, benefited from that. So yeah, getting into the lead really, that kind of saved my race a bit. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with the moves I made. Um, I think they're all clean and all that, but just quite optimistic. Uh, sorry, um, opportunist. Um, and uh, by way to get it done, I had to, I had to do that to get myself back in, back in the fight. Speaking of the, of, of the attacks, obviously it, we we saw other drivers mi miss the attack modes. Um, however, at the second red flag, you had still had one to take. Was it, were, were you getting a little bit nervous that that yeah. you wouldn't have enough time to take it? Um, a little bit, probably less nervous than, than Seb. Um, luckily, we we did the six minutes at the start, and it was it was a two at the end, so we had a bit more scope to be able to to get it in. Um, but yeah, well, obviously with the two red flags, we're starting to get a little bit. Yeah, well, with the first one anyway, um, so we got it done, and it was all good. So, uh, but you know that type of strategy, that kind of bullish strategy, is one is, is what kind of wins us the race, and unfortunately, today it paid off. All right, cheers, Mitch. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you.